What is up guys? We are running the GT4 fixed series here at Hockenheim. One of my favorite tracks on the service, especially in a fast high down force car. It's it's just a it's a blast to drive. Very tricky in certain spots, very high speed, tons of fun. Today we're here in the GT4s. We're in the McLaren, which is I love the car, but lately I haven't been running it. I've been running the Porsche. And I stay away from the BMW. It's the only other one I own. Uh, but right now we're in the McLaren. We put her on pole by two tenths of a second. And we are going to attempt to win this race right here. Let's do it. We're going to try to get a quick jump on this Mercedes. Just instantly go and see if we can cut them off and take that outside line. Yep, great jump. Caught him off guard. He was lacking. We're going to get this outside. Nice people we'll take the racing line. We're going to take the initial off track. That's all right. Just got to put a little bit of distance between us first. Early break. Got to make sure we get that nice run out for this long straightaway here. That Mercedes, I know, is super fast on the straights. It's got great straight line speed. And boom, in the lead by a second currently. It looks like that Mercedes is catching up, though. Closing a tenth already. Open this corner up. Cross. Oh. Always a struggle to get this car around that corner. We had to have a big lift, otherwise we were just going to send in it wide. It's going to give them the opportunity to close the gap a little bit. We're a bit conservative with using all the track in that corner. We can definitely get a lot closer to that wall. We were like probably three feet off it. So it's a Mercedes still followed by the two Porsches behind us. We got Kelly Price trailing us, keeping us honest currently. And I am not focusing enough. Oh, Kelly Price is somewhere gone. As the two Porsches behind us in inherit the second and third positions. Whoa! That curb strike almost rattled the wheel out of my hands. Oh, that was a terrible corner. What are, what are we doing here, boys? What are we doing? There's a BMW in fourth. It's a, a bit of a boat to steer, lots of understeer, a very stable car. Porsche is kind of the opposite, lots of oversteer. Very nimble though, and the McLaren I feel like is kind of a bit of a, a bit of both, best of both worlds type type of car. So Felipe Ruiz in the Porsche, kind of maintaining with us. The BMW of Kyle Stevens getting close and overtook the third position, got around from fourth. We got to focus up in the corners. We can read that on the straight, not in the corner. Get the car rotated and on the power early there. Felipe is closing in definitively. Solid blue Porsche back there. He's starting to really close that gap over a second closer since that lap started. Got to get back on sooner. I think uh, being off right at the end of that is what's killing us. 
Oh, we are just too slow. We're breaking too early in that corner. This is just allowing him to catch right up to us. Took about a two second, two second chunk out of our lead there. And he's got Kyle right behind him as well. Gotta stop focusing behind, start focusing ahead. I think I'm uh, running the gears a little long here. I think this car looks to be short shifted a little bit. Like right as it gets to the red. Red lights come on, then shift. Don't let it run. Oh, lots of understeer there. Kyle is looking for any way around Felipe as that he can take. He is looking fast in that BMW. He's gonna try to move up the inside. Can't isn't quite there. Uh, we've maintained and pulled about two tenths more of that lap. Oh, way out there. Ah. That first turn is always a struggle. The low down four scars. And Kyle gets around Felipe. He's going to try to switch a crossover, but does not work. And he's stuck behind Kyle for the long straight. Now that BMW is going to be dangerous. Kyle is cutting through the field. Got to keep our head down, focus forward here. Go a little bit long. Can't get the car quite rotated either. Allows Kyle to get oh so close to us. Making a run on us. Gotta get on the power early. Don't need to defend quite yet. Allow ourselves to drip over the, the edge there. Drift, drip, I don't know what I said. Definitely got to trail brake a bit better. Really get this front of the car rotated. Struggling with that the most. I know the issue, it's not turning in soon enough. Kyle's got to run up the inside. We're going back to the outside for the racing line. Gonna have the nice, long, fast way around. And we keep the position currently. He is right alongside our right rear quarter panel, though. So he's gonna. We're gonna have to try to cross up in the hairpin here. And we sent it way too deep. And Felipe gets around as well. We're gonna cut under Felipe. We have a better run. We're underneath his right rear quarter. I have to lift to make that corner. We're on the inside, he's right on our outside. Side by side through the S's. And we've got it done. Now we have to go back to chasing down Kyle here. Get off the power. Stop getting so much understeer. Can't let Kyle get away here. We're about halfway, a little bit over halfway through this race already. If 
he's able to start running away now, we'll never catch him. He put down a 47.8, which is a fast, fast lap. And again, we j I just can't get that car to stick how I need it to. I was getting it fine during qualifying and practice, but I'm just not in the race here. We got a half second behind, eight tenths ahead. Gotta get right onto the bumper of Kyle here and we can make something happen. Some early braking. A little bit of contact from behind helps us get that car rotated. But hurts us in the long run as Kyle is able to pull another four tenths away. We are starting to build a gap to Felipe. Kyle seems to be using a lot more of these inside curbs. And that's probably a lot to do with how he's using the outside curbs as well. These GT4 cars, they are... You can't brute force them, you gotta really finesse them, and it's just not my driving style, unfortunately. These cars are great to teach that, though. You've gotta be four steps ahead of these cars, otherwise they just won't do what you need them to. So we put in a much faster lap last... Oh, and we just sent it. We were looking at the timing and scoring, and... Totally just missed our braking zone. Almost cut across Felipe's nose there on accident. Totally missed him. And that gave Kyle another one second ahead of us. Felipe's going to look for a dive down the inside here. Maybe not. He might just tuck in. Nope. He dives down the inside. We're able to hold it around the outside. And we've got a way better run. We're just going to pull past. Whoa! He tried to spin us there. He is getting dangerous. And it's allowing Kyle to just pull away from us here. We're going to get stuck outside the curb. He's going to have a run down our inside. He's not going to make it stick. And Gustavo in the other Mercedes almost had a run on us as well. I think he uh, he was getting pretty close in one of the braking zones there. And Kyle's just pulling away with a four second lead already. Just something I could not do. Could not keep the focus in, could not run consistent fast laps. Just wasn't able to pull ahead. Now Gustavo and Felipe are getting mixed up, trading places back and forth, forcing each other side by side, it's starting to fall back from us, starting to get in this little no man's land here, which could be good for a second place race finish, but not great for more battles. So let's see if we can't put down some really good laps, pull on to Kyle here. Well, we're just sucking in that hairpins. It's always the slow speed corners for me. Doesn't matter the car, the track, the slow speed corners are what get me. Specifically the 180s. The tight hairpins.
This force feedback in this car is great. It really tells what the car is doing. We are going into the final lap here in the fixed GT4 series. Felipe Ruiz, seven tenths behind, challenging for second place. Gustavo, just behind him, looks like he's going to be challenging for fifth. A little bit of a late breaking. Nice. Holding through the corners. But Felipe is closing it up to us. Half a second behind. Kyle Stevens holding the race lead. Four seconds ahead. After we were able to focus up, he we were able to keep pace with him, but it was too little too late. Oh! And Felipe gets into our right rear quarter panel. Almost spins us. It's alright though. Zero X, we recover. We gotta start watching the mirrors for that. Especially coming into these final sets of corners here. Don't want to get spun in this last lap. Everyone is very close within this top five. We could very well lose a podium. That would be an absolute shame. We've got a great race so far. Unfortunately, couldn't do much against Kyle up there in that BMW. But Felipe in the Porsche is right on us, keeping us honest this entirety of the race. Lots of understeer in this final corner. And Kyle Stevens takes the win in the BMW. We come in second in the McLaren, and Felipe Ruiz in the Porsche takes third place to round out the podium. What a great race. Good race, guys. In front of him. Let's take a look at the results here. Race event. Lost point oh two safety rate. Not a huge loss, but we do need to get that back up. End of the season is approaching, and that can be dangerous. We're going to lose our B license. And hopefully I can get that back up to a three. So by the end of the season, we can start running IMSA and chase the championship in IMSA next season. Probably in the GTPs. Uh, some of my favorite cars, specifically the 963, is my favorite car. Uh, we led nine laps. No, sorry. Led four laps. Eight incidences. Unfortunate. And we were... Very far off the fastest lap of the race. Although I think the, my 47s had, like, uh, I think I did run 47s, but I just had really bad, uh, not really bad, really slight incidences that got rid of those laps from counting. So we didn't quite get the fastest lap, although we might have been in contention for it if I didn't get the incidences during those laps. Second place, 94 ironing up to 14. We're going to keep trying to climb. Right now we're kind of hovering around, but that's mainly because I'm not racing as much sports car and racing as much iRacing as I'd like to. Lately I've been on the F124 kick running my career mode, which I believe I'm going to be starting to turn into a series here coming up, so keep an eye out for that.